Hi guys, welcome back to a reaction video. It's time. That's right, Fire Emblem moment. So, let me set the stage for you. Here at 4.14 a.m. I don't know why I'm still awake. Uh, so I was watching Haley's on it, a Disney new show. It's all right. Uh, it's, it's okay, I guess. And I was curious, you know, I wanted to see what some other people had to say about it. So I decided to uh, check out some other reviews and there hasn't really been that many. But when you look up Haley's on it review, dude, you know, there, there's just a few, you know, you, you get your standard ones, you know, people are talking about it. And eventually I found this. <laughs> Looking at this thumbnail, you already know we're in for a treat, dude. Haley's on it is unbelievably terrible. Here's why review. Today we're going to check out this review. I've already seen this one, but I want to take a look at some of their other videos because this has to be like one of the funniest videos I've ever <laughs> I've literally ever seen, bro. I can't wait to watch this again. It was so good. Well, it looks like Disney <laughs> just can't help themselves. We're halfway through the year, and the company. <laughs> I, I, I love the voice. I literally. <laughs> Dude, I literally. This reminds me of like I hate everything. Whatever. Remember when like I hate everything was popular? Whatever. Oh gosh, it reminds me of that. But I love this like you know the nasally voice is perfect. Dude. You you already know what's coming. I won't spoil it, but basically at least understand that this is heavily ironic. Like this creator definitely. It's just being ironic. They're just doing this as a joke. So, just to let you know. <laughs> he has put out bomb after bomb after Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania after bomb after bomb after bomb. How do you go six months wasn't that without bad. putting out a I it was single good. new product? Because on June 10th, 2023, Here we go. was subjected <laughs> to Haley's Island. And this may honestly be one of the worst shows that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> okay, I just want to point out, but like... <laughs> You can like tell that they threw this thing together so you can like see like the right here you can see like the stupid like marker and like <laughs> try bro. <laughs> okay. It's even better, it gets better bro. I can't I I'll talk about it later. Oh it's so good man. Like this show film specifically designed to piss me off. Oh yeah, there's also profanity. Warning this profanity, this is th yeah, there's profanity in this video, just so you know. And I know that I say that a lot, but it's absolutely true this time. You have <laughs> terrible animation that looks like it came straight out of a PBS kids show. Awful writing that panders to 42 IQ Zoomers <laughs> that are stupid enough to watch this trash and liberal propaganda of the oh highest order. Gosh. This is one of the sickest and most depraved shows that I've ever had the <laughs> pleasure of watching. I felt like that one guy in the clockwork orange when he was forced to watch Joe Biden's inauguration over and over again. This is 20th century levels of torture. But why is this show so bad? And why is it because of Walnut? <laughs> Dude, I love how they just didn't even bother like filling in some of the skin like dude It's so good cuz like literally it's just him. It's like it's just it's just his face but like <laughs> And like all this is like the same like you know like eight images like scrolling by and it's just his face over and over again <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so because it's like it's making fun of like PNG too. It's so funny, bro. Oh, it's so good. And why is it because of wokeness? Well, hi, I'm the PNG tuber, and today <laughs> I love PNG tuber. It is unbelievable. <laughs> I just hi, I'm the PNG tuber. It's like that's how you know it's ironic because it's like he's not even has like his own name or whatever. It's just I'm the PNG tuber. It's so good, today, dude. We're going over why Haley's on it is unbelievably terrible. <laughs> okay, so first off, let's talk about the animation. Who the fuck thought that this stilted and uncanny animation was a good idea? I just want to talk to them. I just want to talk. I just want to talk to them. Because this animation looks like a literal war crime. I'm just speechless, okay? I had to take a break from watching this show after five minutes. Dude, it's so funny because there are literally people like this in the world. Where it's like, dude... <laughs> Like it's making fun of these like people that are like so critical about shows or whatever. It's like it's a show like that's <laughs> it's Like oh, I had to take a break from watching the show it was so bad bro Like obviously there are like things that are like extremely like, you know, low effort But yeah, you know, sometimes that's like the whole point right? it's like you watch like a bootleg movie sure But like, when you watch something like this, it's just like it's such a like a gross over exaggeration and it's so funny, but like that's it's because people actually think like this and like, you can tell like this is all just ironic But it's just like <laughs> it's so funny and I think like the worst part is like 
this got like a thousand views, but like this channel only has like 350 subscribers. Like this is comedy gold, bro. This is actually comedy gold. Billy Donna was so fucking bad that it made me want to tear apart whoever was closest to me. This is a level 69 national security threat. We need to contain the show in a fucking slammer for the rest of time. <laughs> you can't even hear the creator laughing, bro. Like even he's like, this is so stupid, bro. <laughs> Oh, this is so good, dude. To keep the pace. And now for the story. I mean, the story is completely fucking terrible, let's be real. It's like they typed in, how can we piss off the PNJ Tomer in the chat, GP? <laughs> I, 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 I don't, maybe, it's just funny. This is so funny, bro. <laughs> it's just, how can we make the PNG Tomer? <laughs> It's because it's so late at night, is so why I find this so funny. Oh my gosh, it's like, uh, how can we make the PNG tuber, man? It's like, oh my gosh, that's like, that's what they're going, that's what's going through their mind. Yeah, the PNG tuber, bro. Oh, just the word PNG tuber just makes it so much funnier, because it's not even like, how can we make me mad? It's just the PNG tuber. <laughs> I didn't know that Hollywood was so out of original fucking ideas that I've resorted to digging around at the bottom of the trash can like fucking raccoons. <laughs> because that's exactly where a show as terrible as this must have come from. How did this trash give, get through hundreds of people to reach the airwaves and conform the children to this contrived crap cartoon content? Like, can I even blame wokeness for this? Because... <laughs> <laughs> He's just like screaming, bro. He's like, ah, rah! It's just like, like people literally get that bad over it, dude. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. He's like, can I even play wokeness for this? Like, it's like, it's just like, you know, people will just like, you know, if you type in anything on YouTube, you'll just see like, whoa, too woke? Gone woke? Or like, you say gone woke. Uh, you know. I'm tired of woke video game. Like, why is Mario there? What? Why is why put Mario the freaking brawl? Oh my gosh, bro. That's like the jo that's like the meme. That's like the funny meme. Oh my gosh, bro. Like, dude. Like to put a clown nose on him. Oh, got him, bro. What's next? You gonna do like the Chad and the non-Chad? Oh god. What the? Let's let's you know what? Let's just go back to the video. That baby creeped me out. The Democrat woke mob wants to propagandize and sodomize the viewing audience. Not assault their eyes with this unwatchable shit that nobody <laughs> in their right mind would be caught watching. But with all that said, Haley's on it is by far the second worst cartoon of 2023. <laughs> it just bro. barely edges out Spider Verse 2. Because what? It barely edges out Spider Verse 2. <laughs> That, bro. that movie's been like unanimously agreed to be like the best movie of 2023 and he's <laughs> that's oh that movie was a complete fucking garbage fire hell is on it it's guaranteed to get us free fucking mental stations what are you saying bro oh my gosh is this just loud equals funny i think it's just loud equals funny and, and if i had to be tortured with a terrible tone i'd pick the shorter one so that at least i know when the pain is going to end but either way i'm gonna pin jay Definitely not continuing to hang watch Haley's on it and signing off. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> just like on the PNG tuber, like just it's so it's so good. It's so good, dude. Copyright PNG tuber. <laughs> Your bad equals good, dude. It's so funny because like all you have to do is replace like you know people who actually think like this with the word PNG tuber, and it's like the exact same. It's so good, dude. This content is godlike, bro. And like when you go on their channel, it's a little weird because like they have all these like, like, like Hot Wheels reviews. Like I haven't seen anything. <laughs> Just review a Hot Wheels car? Is, like do people do this? Uh, I don't know. But it seems like they have like you know. Oh, oh, yo, he's happy. Wait. Oh, he's happy in this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I was like, you know, scrolling through a few of these and it's like, you know, it's just like, it has multiple of these. I want to watch a few more of them. Cause I, the only one that I've seen is, is the, uh, the Haley's on it one. He punched his teacher. Do I watch this? Hold on. Uh, what's up guys? And welcome back to the- That's not him. That's not my PNG tuber. The video. Um, okay. Uh, I know it's been a while since I uploaded and last came on the scene in September, <laughs> 2020 when we took but aliens on Venus. Um, but guys, this? you know, we're finally back now. <laughs> had a few struggles, had a few setbacks, but now we're finally back in action. What? And today we're doing a video okay. on the time that I literally 
punched Morticia. Okay, so I think this person is literally just creating like ironic content. You know, you got all those like story time people. Uh, oh, and not just animators, but you know, people like to say story times like video game footage. I'm yes, curious. Yes, you know, I'm, there's no doubt about it. I'm not lying. I, I definitely punched my teacher. Definitely got sent to the slammer for assault and battery. And it's a really inter interesting story. I'm actually going to come back to this. Let's come back to this. I, I, <laughs> I'm running from the cop. Like, these are all so fake. All right, all right. Do we go with this one? Oh, it's PNG tuber. Yes, here we go. Something has been happening. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Everybody has noticed, but nobody wants to say anything about it. We went from works of art like the Amazing World of Gumball and Problem Solvers. <laughs> to <un> <laughs> Bro, you can't. <laughs> You can't say that, bro. Problem solvers, the nastiest character designs of all time, bro. Like, oh my gosh. The unoriginal garbage, like Haley's on it. Here we go, we got Haley's on it. And we baby bears, which has left oh, that's right, that's a thing. cartoon fan to wonder why are modern cartoons so terrible now? Well, hi, I'm the PNG tuber, and today he's we're back, go bro. Over that's exactly my PNG tuber. Nowadays are worse than the herpes infection. Okay, oh, so first oh, off, it's become oh. pretty clear that every cartoon is exactly the same. If it's for Kent, then it's just an 11-minute sequence of bright flashing colors and woke nonsense. <laughs> woke again, bro? Like, you can say that about anything, bro. And if it's for adults, <sighs> it's full of rude humor, sex jokes, and more woke nonsense. Family there are guy. very few cartoons that don't fall into that category. Honestly, only Velma and Kiff are able to stand above the rest. Velma. Alright, bro. I don't know about you guys, but I'm sick and tired of these companies, especially Disney, putting out nothing but woke pieces of shit like Blue <laughs> Mouse instead of awesome shows like Brandy and Mr. Westcars. Fighting. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what is that? What is Brandy and Mr. Whiskers? Oh. Never heard of this show. Huh. This feels like something Butch Hartman would create. Anyway, a good cartoon nowadays is like trying to fight a Democrat with a moral compass. And speaking of the <laughs> Democrats, <laughs> What's that even let's mean? talk about wokeness and how it's just it's destroying wokeness, cartoons. It's all just Can we just wokeness. go 10 seconds without a cartoon trying to shove its woke agenda down our throats? Because I can't watch a single cartoon nowadays without being reminded of the Deviant Democrats' dark agenda and the constant messaging that liberals got and true American patriots bad. It's like... Do you think there's somebody who like... Hold on, is there somebody that actually takes this seriously? Uh, no. These guys can't seriously be taking this guy seriously. No. No. See? L literally, literally. See? It's it's all entertainment. It's it's clearly... <laughs> it's, it's clear... You, you already know what I want to say. Oh my Please gosh. shut the hell up. Nobody <laughs> wants to hear about that shit. Aside from the elite investors who are funding these cartoon companies and trying to control everything we say. It's like, get this Democrat bullcrap out of my face. And <laughs> fuck these sick freaks who know that kids are watching these shows. This is liberal indoctrination of the highest order. And everybody uh, making these bull cartoons you, should be tried for treason. Look. I try not to get too political in my video. <laughs> Dude, I, it's his face that sells it. He's got like the, uh, like he's constantly got his arms crossed. Like that's perfect, dude. It's the always like literally never uncross his arms, bro. It's so good. Like the only thing that changes is his face. And like this face is so good. It looks like it's straight out of like Eddie and Eddie, like a side character. It's like, I don't even know. It's so funny, bro. I try not to be too political in my video. Literally just constantly says woke every like two <laughs> Seconds, bro. It's so funny. Oh but gosh. is the Biden administration really just gonna let these cartoons destroy the fabric of our nation? Our elected officials are just letting these media conglomerates subject us to these crappy cartoons. This is the most important issue of our time. But anyway, those are basically all the reasons why cartoons are terrible now. You <laughs> just said it was woke, and that's it. You just said it was woke. <laughs> in my opinion. Hopefully these media companies wise up and realize that we true American cartoonians are not going to stand for their woke agenda. Either way, I'm an PNG tuber watching <laughs> watching Kef and Velma on repaint because- I can't even take him so seriously!
Seriously, bro, it's so good. Like every other cartoon is harder to watch than a public execution and signing off. Bye. <laughs> Bro, this is this literally got this is the funniest thing I've ever seen, bro. All right, last one, last one. On April twenty third, two thousand thirteen, the world was introduced to Teen Titans Go, and it quickly became one of the most controversial cartoons of all time. You had cartoon tubers attacking the show for being too different from the original. You had terminally online nutcases complaining about Cartoon Network airing the show too much, and you had studio executives soiling themselves over how much money they were making from the show. That's literally all true. Actually, he's not wrong. PNG Tuber, that's my PNG Tuber! And I'm just sitting back, relaxing, and watching the daily marathons of Teen Titans Go. Something about the show just speaks to me. Could it be the over-the-top gross-out humor? Could it be the stilted and janky <laughs> animation? Is it the poorly done meta jokes? <laughs> He's literally insulting the show. <laughs> well, I've done a lot of thinking, and I think I've come up what with a reason what? for why Teen Titans Go is so awesome. Hi, I'm the PNG Tuber, and today the we're going to go over tuber. what I just said in the previous sentence. Now let's take a trip back in time to when Teen Titans Go first premiered. In 2013, we had awesome shows like Adventure Time, Regular Show, and The Amazing World of Gumball. <laughs> why does he keep using that blurry image of the world of Gumball? <laughs> But a darkness was slowly taking over the cartoon universe. The woke agenda had begun to infect <laughs> Cartoon Network. Steven Universe oh was gosh. the first woke tune on Cartoon Network. Then oh Clarence. Gosh. Then we bear bears. And before we know it, Clarence? all the two American what? cartoons were replaced by Democrat propaganda. It was a dark time to be a cartoonian. But throughout the woke invasion, <laughs> Teen Titans Go was able to avoid... Did he say like the woke invasion? It reminds me of like YouTubers talking about like the Vine invasion of like 26 or whatever. Gosh, dude, this <laughs> The demonized Democrats' dark agenda. The demonized. <laughs> they fought off the wokeness and won. And now we have over 350 <laughs> episodes of this awesome this. show. I can safely say that Teen Titans Go. Dude, that's the second the time he's put it as like, get subscribed to me. <laughs> put it here. <laughs> and then he puts it in again. <laughs> for the third time. He puts it in the third time. <laughs> <laughs> so Best good. decision that Warner Bros. has made since canceling oh the live-action Powerpuff Girls reboot. I guess those checks from the Democrats ran out. But with that said, that's basically the only reason why Teen Titans Go is so awesome. I would say more about it, but every time I watch the show, I have an absence seizure, and everything just blacks out for an hour. <laughs> anyway, I've been the Green Tomer, watching a pirated cable stream of Teen Titans Go, and signing off. Bye! Dude, this is the funniest person in the universe. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, one more. This is six hours. Yo, they upload so often. I just realized. Bro. Bro, they're on the grind. They're on the freaking content grind. Oh my gosh. Hold on. One of Mon Girl and oh my Dinosaur gosh. Here we go. Here we go. I actually haven't seen this show yet, so. Let's hear our favorite PNG tuber talk about it. See if it's see if it's worth watching. Some television ever created, hands down. It is everything wrong with modern animation. It's everything wrong with Disney, and it's everything wrong with American politics. I'm not even gonna bother doing a normal intro for this video because this, this show so doesn't much, even bro. deserve it. How Moon Girl and Demonized Democrat doesn't even deserve that to again? exist. That again? Oh my gosh. This piece of what? <laughs> just laughing. I just leaves it in. That's so good, bro. Okay. SJW puff piece pandering propaganda should be seized by the federal government. And I really freaking mean it this time. We need the FBI, ATF, CIA, the fucking Secret Service to raid Marvel and Disney, destroy oh. every goddamn copy of this show, and slap the shit out of whoever thought that this show was a good idea to make. We Getting like literal Secret Service, <laughs> He's just like, it's so extreme with everything he says. I love it. We need a full army mobilization against this <laughs> show because it has tainted the minds of millions of impressionable kids and pissed off two American patriots like me. All I want is some good freaking cartoons and I'm bombarded left and right with crap like Moon Girl and Dip Ass Demon that tries to <laughs> preach messages of <laughs> Poor inclusion dinosaur, bro. and- Bro, that, he's not saying anything bad about Moon Girl. He's all these 
He's only ripping into that poor dinosaur, bro. <laughs> and equity and tried to tell me that gentrification is a bad thing. I'm like, are you fucking serious? Gentrification is the only reason why the nut jobs behind the show had any sort of place of writing down their terrible ideas and tell the broken AI how to animate the show. Because without gentrification, the entire country would just be a fucking empty field with fucking nobody fucking in it! I literally don't even know what he's talking about. I literally don't. I literally don't even know what he's talking about, bro. It's no! Because when man sees an opportunity, we seize it. So why the fuck is this show going against a basic human instinct of making things better? They make things worse. This is a sign of the devolution of man and the destruction of modern society. It's a cartoon, bro. <laughs> and I think that the terrible production value of this terrible freaking show should be more than enough proof of that. My girl and Devil Dinosaur looks so bad that it could have been on Adult Swim. The animation looks like it came out of an elephant's ass. The <laughs> That's literally angry video game nerd. That's <laughs> that literally is an angry video game nerd moment, bro. Hold on, he's got the PNG too really over again. Hold on, how many times he do it this time? Hold on. I think he did it earlier on. Did it? Yeah, one time. Hold on, let's count how many times. Oh, two times. Hold on. Wait, three, three times? <laughs> Four times? <laughs> Four times. He hit a new record. Let's go. I think it's so bad that he could probably find better dialogue and tone out fun guests. What in the heavens were they thinking when they made this show? Did it not cross their mind for one second to make a show that people can actually watch without vomiting uncontrollably? Bro, I literally feel like I'm watching Angry Video Game Nerd. That's so funny. I am so sick of the dark and devious Democrat agenda. Oh that's my slowly gosh. poisoning every aspect of our society. Because it's really starting to tick me the heck off. Why can't the Democrats just make one good show? <laughs> 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 they, they He's not even like a character for like three seconds. Bro. He can't even take himself seriously. Controlling the media for years. And everything they put out has been dog shit on top of dog shit on top of dog shit. <laughs> I speak for every true American patriot when I say, We're sick and tired of playing these Democrat games! We will not be propagandized and treated like stupid baboons! We are done with Disney! We're done with this superhero shit! And we'll be staying with Fox Nation from now on! Oh my gosh. He's going insane, bro! He's going God mode! Oh my gosh, dude! Either way, it's safe to say that this show has done irreparable damage to the animation industry. Hopefully, Moon Girl and Devil Democrat managed to get canceled <laughs> every Again, it's only the poor dinosaur getting flanked. Moon Girl's the same every time. It's always the dinosaur, bro. Oh, from all streaming services in time for my birthday. That would be the only present I ever need. Anyway, I'm with a PNG tuber calling 911 because I blew my throat out and I could taste blood. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Up. Bye. Oh my gosh, bro. Dude, this deserves so many more views. This is peak content, bro. This is peak content. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude, this guy needs more views. Bro, I just want to keep watching. I just want to keep watching, bro. I'll leave it there. I don't want to keep going more. Dude, this is... Oh my gosh. Th this is so funny. This is actually so funny, bro. I... I... <laughs> <sighs> anyway, that's it. I just, I had to, dude. I had to. This person needs more subscribers. They need more love. It's, it's, it's so funny. All right, that's it though. That's it. Subscribe to the Voyager Arts YouTube. Just do it. Just do it, bro. <laughs>